What's poppin' water, babies? What's poppin'? What's going on in the life of a Scorpio between now and the 28th of February? Hmm. Hmm. Are we having to make decisions? Decisions? Are we internally conflicted about which way to go? Do I go right, Mocha? Do I go left? Do I stand the hill still and hope that these options, neither right or left, smack me in the face by going forward because I don't want to lose? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time viewing my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time viewing my channel, look out. I cuss, okay? I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. That said, I'm a cuss. So if cussing does not resonate with you, by all means, feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing, because me, <laughs> I'm going to do that, all right? So... This will be for my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Scorpio, all right? This is simply a general. It is not a personal. If you need a personal, that information can be found, bam, within the description below, all right? Um, you guys, I got to say, when meditating on your energy, and I'm going to do your intuitive messages first, but when meditating on your energy, you guys, I just kept feeling decisions, decisions, the right choice. Um, I kept feeling as if there was passion and practicality, okay, or passion that's building over history, trust, and loyalty, but in the middle, they couldn't meet with any, with no type of form of vulnerability, okay? So I don't, I haven't just quite yet laid the cards. But um, we're going to jump into your intuitive messages first. You guys, thank you for all of my likes, shares, and subscribes to the new subscribers. Welcome to the family, y'all. We are the dysfunctional. We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel, but we do cuss, okay? We love, we grow, we evolve, we enlighten one another, y'all. Posy vibes only. That's what we do over here, okay? And so with that said, um, to my returning family members, hey, booze. Hey, I didn't want to make you guys wait forever, even though them views is sorry. Y'all know I'm going to tell you because I'm from Mars, too. And we got to be able to keep it real. Them views was sorry. I said, Scorpios, who cereal did I piss in? I'm like, what is what did Mocha do to y'all? I'm just kidding. But them views was sorry, though. I'm not kidding about that part. But I ain't pissing. I wouldn't piss in nobody's cereal. Not no more, anyway. <laughs> I done evolved somewhat. I still be battling my shadow side, but it ain't that bad. But one time, I could tell Scorpio with this story. Because, you know, y'all know I'm very transparent. Quick story. I remember there was a situation where I might have been living with this um, young lady. We're going to call her Sarah, okay? Um, <laughs> Sarah might have stolen some of Mocha's money. And Mocha had to pay her rent. And it was my half of the rent, so I would have had to pay twice. Now, this was 19, I'm sorry, 18 could have been, or 19-year-old Mocha. But 19, 18-year-old Mocha could have put Nair in Sarah's shampoo. And Sarah had to cut her hair <laughs> and start over. Okay, let's get it, all right? But not pissing nobody, cereal. That's disrespectful, all right? So, you know. That, that's just my little <laughs> confessions with Mocha. I thought about starting another channel where I get to have some tea t some story tea time. Y'all, my life should be a reality show. Neither here nor there. We're family. And if you fucks with the kid, you know that, you know, we're going to laugh because we family. You understand? So don't be like me. Don't put liquid near in people's shampoo bottles. I had to pay for that later because, you know, no one did that to my fucking hair, but my edges at one point in time were not always on fleek. Actually, I had some little spots that was missing. It looked like I could have been kin to one of them basketball players. I'm not going to name his name because he, you know, he's still fine or whatever, but I'm just saying. Damn it. Now let's roll, Scorpio. All right, so the intuitive messages. Y'all, somebody times down with this. People don't want to hear me run my damn mouth uh, when the reading starts. All right, we rocking. The intuitive messages that I got for Scorpio for this mid uh, mid month February was positive shifts, divine union, health, forgiveness, spiritual gifts, wealth, vulnerab vulnerability, catalyst. Surrender, 
stability, reunion, apologies, and life path. Okay, so immediately when I say reunion, you guys, my amethyst was in my hand, y'all know, Princess Mocha, well, Empress Mocha gotta have her damn wand, okay? And so as soon as I said reunion, in between apologies, the, the, the amethyst fell down. So some of you guys could be dropping the ball um, on a, some type of reunion, okay, after you receive some form of an apology, okay? I feel like that was a catalyst situation to assist you in moving forward, all right? So, that's what I have uh, intuitively. Take what resonates, leave the rest, you guys. All right, so your um, Archangel message this this month comes from Archangel Zadkiel. Teaching, this damn glare is horrible. I'm going to be balling one day. Teaching and learning, okay? Keep an open mind and learn new ideas. Then, teach these new ideas to others, okay? So, as I said, the general energy around the reading this month is going to be the King of Swords, King of Diamonds, okay? So, I definitely feel like you guys could possibly be um, receiving some type of clear-cut communication from someone, okay? This could be you giving it or this could be you receiving it during this time. And I feel like it's going to be what you needed in order to um, remove yourself from a situation, okay? Or that clarity that you need in order to release it, let it go, and be able to forgive the other person and exchange that, okay? And I definitely feel like some of you all may be still watching. This person may still watch you from time to time, but ultimately, some of you guys are just focused on going in this period of solitude and focusing on yourself and your self-worth as well as your own abundance, okay? So, Spirit, what messages do you have for my Scorpios between now and the 28th of February? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Yeah, again, first card came out, King of Swords. So some of you all may be dealing with two individuals, okay? You possibly could be cutting off two people. For some of y'all could be cutting off two people. This could involve an air sign as well, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I definitely feel like Scorpio is in the energy of the big chop, having to make a decision, okay? I definitely feel like, again, after some type of conversation is had, um, possibly an exchange between yourself and the air sign, okay? Or some conversation that really just... Um, this kind of comes out of nowhere, all right? Or this could be you receiving the Scorpio, someone having to move forward, moving away from the past, okay? After some form of an apology, y'all, I keep hearing apology. So after some form of an apology, okay, there will be a releasing, a moving forward, okay? This could involve another fire sign, younger fire sign, Aries, Bill, Sagittarius, okay? Again, Scorpio, you could be receiving or giving an apology to this person. And I do feel um, after this happened, things could be moving swiftly. Um, you could be moving away from the past, okay, or away from past issues after this conversation is had in order to move forward. But I definitely feel like some of y'all could also be cutting off of cutting off that damn night energy, the in and out flighty ass energy. You don't want to invest in anybody that's fucking flighty. Period. Here are my messages. Do you have thank you? Yeah. And some of you all after receiving some form of an apology or some form of clarity, okay? Um, I feel like some of you guys are really in this indecisive energy. You don't know if you want to go. You don't know if you want to stay. Uh, but you got to get it together. Get it together. Who know that song? That's how Scorpio feeling. I don't really want to go, I don't really want to stay, all I really need to know is can we get it together, y'all want to get it together Scorpio, well alright, some of y'all getting it together with a, with a with a water sign, Cancer Pisces Scorpio as well, some of y'all this is the person getting chopped because of their flightiness, yeah, for some of you all, you're indecisive about, um, Duality given equally to a situation, okay? This could have to do also with an earth sign, or you could have an earth sign, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, uh, slightly feeling indecisive about moving forward with you simply because they may feel as if, yeah, some of you guys intuitively, some of you guys have a telepathic connection to someone. I feel like for some of you all, this could be someone who um, you could have reconciled with. This could also be between you and someone who you're currently dealing with, who currently is kind of coming in and out of your energy. I feel like this person leaves you not knowing which way to go or not knowing where things are going. Yeah, some of y'all could be also dealing with someone very intuitive. 
For some of you all, you're really wanting to start anew, okay? And give equally to a situation. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo. For some of you all, some of you all could be dealing with the uh, with someone with the initials B or J. It could be anywhere in their name. But some of you all intuitively know in order for a situation to move, you have to give equally to it. And for some of you all, you're really resisting that change that is going to ultimately bring newness. And you're more so in your head. You're really, you're not, you're really not sure if you really want to continue to invest in a situation that really exhausts you, I feel. For some of you all, this has to do with the Sagittarius who could possibly be um, manipulating you in some way. I feel that someone is being manipulated or holding on to someone by means of finances as well. Keep someone in this state of feeling as if they move, that they're being... Someone here is a slave to their loyalty. You're a slave to your loyalty. Possible outcome. Okay, yeah. For some of you all, it's moving forward. Focusing on your own endeavors. Some of you guys could actually have um, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could be someone who you could have had a passionate relationship with, just a physical relationship with. Some of you guys are moving towards that energy, okay, or that energy could be moving towards you during this time. Or some of you are wanting to move forward, okay, if that when that energy comes forward to reunite with you. You want something new? You've been in your head about wanting to hold on to a situation, circumstance, situationship. Spirit, why is the King of Swords here? With the Eight of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Yeah. For some of you all, yeah, after after some form of truth and clarity comes in, this is newness. This is turning over a new leaf. Damn it. The Ace of Swords with the Ace of. Okay. The Ace of Swords with the Ace of Pentacles. For some of you all, um, there's something. There's a new beginning here that is stable. Where after some form of truth and clarity. Some of you all, I feel like you just recently reconnected to someone or you could have, or this could be going on between, um, that Virgo full moon going to bring in some really interesting energy for some of you all. Some of you have to choose between two people. Possibly, I, I see Aries, Leo, and Sag here on the board. Some of you all intuitively know that you have to make a decision. However, you don't want to leave someone else out in the cold. But this is the opportunity that you've been trying to manifest though here. And for some of you all, this could involve children, someone who you have children with, or someone who you have some type of like blended family, like blended family dynamic with. This could also be a past life, a past life lover as well. I do see newness here. But you're going to have to make a decision to leave something, someone behind. Why is the temperance card here? Some of y'all could be dealing with a very indecisive Sagittarius that knows how to actually um, how to actually stabilize the relationship. However, this person is has chosen to make to, has chosen to make the decision to not make the decision in order to keep things flowing. But it's breaking your heart, Scorpio. You don't like it. Some of you all are releasing yourself from that. You're moving forward. Why is the high priestess here? Some of you all, you could have also seen um, some type of third party activity in your dreams in the past. This could have been something that you and this person could have been arguing over or something actually um, surfaced here where you were able to see that your intuition was on point. And the high, as I'm speaking, it, the high priestess here, the three of pentacles, some, some of you all. Um, this I got the three of pentacles. I'm sorry, I said the three of pentacles. The three of hearts with the three of spades. I definitely feel that here, uh, and, and that's to clarify the high priestess. So I definitely feel like some of you are intuitive. You know, it was destiny that actually reconcile you with someone, and you wanting to put in the work, or someone intuitively knows again how to move things forward, what they need to do in order to put in the work. However, they're resisting that newness, resisting that change, resisting transformation in the relationship. Why is the sun card here? Some of y'all could be dealing with a Leo. Some of you guys are dealing with Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel if you're dealing with Earth, you are the other person. Someone's tired of dealing with this situation, but someone is trying to hold on with the damn claws of life uh, by financial means. You could actually share a home or a place with this person. Why is the sun card here? Oh, it's too many. I'm going to take the one that I actually feel on it. 
Oh. Now somebody is all 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 in their feelings. They all over the place. For some of you all, this could be, definitely have to do with a Leo. Okay, this could have to do with the Leo who possibly has two options. Or you could have two options if you're dealing with a Leo. But for some of you all, <laughs> some of you all in resisting, some of you all, you're dealing with someone who just won't get out of their own way. And you're trying to hold on to a situation that's really not worth being kept, Scorpio. Spirit, what is the outcome of this? Yeah. For some of you all, again, some of y'all could be very indecisive. I have two kings here. So some of you could be dealing with um, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and a fire sign, Aries, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah. But I definitely see reconciliations. And I also see that for some of you all, you really, you're, you're indecisive about leaving someone out in the cold because you and you for some of you are someone who you mirror this could be a karmic partner this could be a soulmate some of you are dealing with two soulmates one that's karmic and one that's actually a life partner and you're needing to make the decision which way do i go who gets my cup who do i give this pinnacle to but the outcome is the world so there's definitely going to be a transformation for some of you all, a renewal after a reconciliation, a reunion, and after some form of an apology. But Scorpio, you're really needing to make a decision. Some of y'all are going to choose uh, possibly a Virgo or to possibly move towards um, this sense of solitude. To just really, really, really shed the light, shed your own wisdom on the situation and really just choose to be by yourself. Focus on your own pinnacles. Focus on your own independence. All right, so this is what I have for my babies, my squad bills between now and the 28th of February. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found Boop. below. <laughs> Much love and light. You guys, many blessings to you and namaste. I see you guys with the March Generals. Bye, y'all.